Hi everyone, in this video, I'll run hand interaction scene in Unity and learn how to use in editor hand input simulations to test a scene and be familiar with various types of interactions and UI controls provided by HoloLens 2 and MRTK. Let's get started. Let's open Unity Hub. and double-click the project of HoloLens 2 MRTK. And go to Project Folder, search Hand Interaction Example, double-click to open it. Click the Play button to run it in Game Window. Then maximize the window. First, let's be familiar with the input method. To move around the thing, use W to move forward, S to move backward, A to left, D to right, and Q to down, E to up. and press and drag right button, right mouse button to look up, down, left, right. To simulate hand input, press and hold spacebar to bring down left hand. So while uh, the hand so up, just move the mouse to simulate the movement of hand. And left shift to bring up the left hand and uh, using the scroll wheel to adjust the depth of the hand and also click the mouse left button to pinch and release button then release, uh, release the hand another two keys it's important is T and Y. So basically T is bring up and lock the left hand. Y is bring and bring up and lock the right hand. Now let's interaction example. So first the hide the profiler and then the this are the pressable buttons. Uh, there are different size of buttons and also different shape of buttons. Now this is piano. So we can move the hand closer to touch the piano. This is touch interaction. So do not need to press, just move hand closer, touch the objects. Sound, play, and also color change. Now, this is slider interaction, so you can use the slider to change color. This is manipulation interaction, so you can use one hand to pick up the object, to drag it, and also we can use two hand to you know, give us more uh, flexibility to move the object. So same similar to the other one, but this one it has more features. When selected, you can see there are some uh, text so up, and also you can use two hands to manipulate it. This is one hand manipulates. So you can see the there is the physical. Uh, physics between the objects. So the cup you can use two hand to change the scale. But this object use two hands to 
you know, move around the object. This is the feature of bounding box. So I move your hand closer to the object, there is a control box so up. So you can use the control box to scale, to move the object, and even rotate the object. So there are the options you can make the control box always visible or only show one hands close. So now it works the same way um, with Henry, which is kind of like a far interaction instead of you have to close. So this is a pan and zoom interaction, just like a uh, a window in your in window system. You can drag to change scale, and also you can move your hand closer to to scroll the content in the window. And there's a feature called Follow Me. If you click the button, this object will move wherever you go. And click the button again to disable the Follow Me feature. So this is UI controls. Use hand to simulate buttons, tango selections. and use slider to control some factors. Okay, we have go over some basic features available in MRT Kit. So that's all for this video. See you next week.